Hello and welcome to Be a Tier German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 10 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Today we have a lot to do. First of all over here we need to implement a little fix that one of my viewers made me aware of. Then we need to finish this area right here so we can actually produce some steel. And last but not least down here on the bottom, yeah that is an iron volcano and we're gonna dig into that thing as well. So let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So first of all, let's pause the game and let's turn our overlay back on. And there are several things we need to do. And thanks to Loey G, he made the comment to make me aware of this mistake that I made. What that is, we will get into that in a second. Two things we have to change in our red bolt generator. First of all, it is currently set to 50 red bolts. So every 50 red bolts, it shoots over towards the right. That is, of course, suboptimal because it will require three shots to actually fill it up. Why three, you're wondering? Because the material studies terminal only holds 100. Well, the reason is that is the standard setting and I did not change it and we are losing red bolts when we are traveling through space. So this distance that we are traveling right here, we are not getting a full 50 over here, which is suboptimal. So first of all, we're going to set this here to something like 104, maybe 103 is enough. I'll keep an eye on it and maybe adjust it later. And the second thing that we want to do is we want to set the selected direction from east to northeast. We want to go up towards the top right here. So then in radiation, we're going to grab us a red bolt reflex and we can just follow this little arrow not right here but one further up right here we're gonna build one and then another one we're gonna build right here just something like this here we can directly set those up or can we no they have to first be built but that is no problem all we need to do is put a piece of ladder maybe right here and one right there now it is definitely reachable and as soon as all this here is built we will make sure that this here shoots into there it goes up to here comes over to there and then all the way straight down the reason for that is any excess red bolts will then hit this tile here and not chemster isn't that nice chemster let's get this here built and now we have it built, we can pause it again and we can set it up properly. This one here we want to fire straight towards the right, follow along here, this little eye right there. And we end up in the receiver of this red bolt reflector and this one here aims straight down, ends up right there. That is exactly what that should look like and that should fix up this area here, but this time for good. Over here in our industrial brick area, there are several things to do. First of all, we need to get all this debris out of here so we can then actually fill this area here up and get everything else built that we need to build one, one step after the next. First of all, down here, we are running low on polluted water and we don't want that. So what we're going to do up here, we have plenty of it. So we're just going to release some of this polluted water down into this area right here. That's the general idea. Probably not all at once, but I don't know yet. I might just dig this entire area out because we have definitely slime lung in here and that is always a problem. So we might as well get rid of it rather earlier than later. And we may actually get ready for that when we go into furniture. Then we grab us a hanging pot, something like this here. And where can we put it? I could already put one right here for right now. Yeah, that's fine. One right there, one right there, and one right there three of them right here and we need to get of course more buddy buds in because they're currently sitting around up here on the top and doing absolutely nothing there we go we're gonna deconstruct all of these here with a number nine priority that should help and as soon as we have them we're gonna plant them over here and get started with the production of some nice germs that will help us out against the slime line while we are waiting for that to be done, down here on the bottom, I have moved the liquid pump all the way to the bottom left right here. Other than that, it used to be right here. Now it is right there. That's the only difference. And now what we are going to do is in plumbing, we're going to grab us a insulated liquid pipe made out of igneous rock. That's fine. And we're just going to come all the way along here, all the way over, all the way over to right there. Let's see, will there be anything in our way? Yes, we have a pipe right here, but it's not in a way. We are just going to use it probably. Or should we? No, we will still need this pipe here. We're going to go up on the other side right here. And we're just going to come all the way straight through. All the way up here, over to there. And we keep on going all the way through. And where can we come over? Probably right around here. Well, it is a little bit congested there, isn't it? So we're going to come over right there. That's fine. Over to here all the way up and just temporarily where could we go past here 
all the way through here. This is also a temporary pipe that we just left for right now, but we're just going to come straight across right there. That's perfectly fine. I am just getting ready to fill our metal refineries up with crude oil for it later. This here is a relatively low priority. It doesn't really matter when they build it. It's just something that they can work on when there's nothing else going on. And that's why I'm going to set this here to a seven so that I don't do this here first. That's the general idea. Our buddy buds are now planted and they are starting to produce the first germs. I planted another one because we have him, so it is perfectly fine. But before we start digging upwards, I want to go ahead and to research real quick. And in colony development, we need right here the virtual planetarium. That is going to be highly important because we need the data analysis research. And as soon as we have this here, we will go up here on the top into solid management and get us the conveyor rail thermal sensor. That is the particular order that we need to research it because the conveyor rail thermal sensor will be highly important for our iron volcano build without that we can't do anything so we need to slowly but steadily work into that general direction and that is exactly what we are going to do and then right here before we dig into here when we take a look the water is going to come straight down here and it's going to end up in our liquid lock that is of course something that we don't want by any means as a matter of fact so what we're going to do is pretty simple we're just going to build four tiles right here so the water is going to come all the way down it's going to drop right here it's going to come over to the left and then drop down into here in a safe distance from our liquid lock that is what that should look like that is a hell of a lot better and then we can actually start digging upwards slowly but steadily and i don't want to go too high just to make sure we don't have our water escape too early but this here is going to be the general idea for right now these four tiles here are now built and all the way up here on the top we are starting to dig in but i want to give them directly another contract there's a lot going on on this side today and that's what they will feel here very very shortly so we're going to grab us this uh, insulated pipe right here. We're going to come all the way along to over here. And then we're going to switch over to a normal liquid pipe. And we're going to grab the one with the highest thermal conductivity. Let's see what is that. Is that granite by any chance? That could be granite once again. Yes, it's granite. So we're going to grab us the granite pipe. And we're going to just come all the way along here. All the way left and right and back and forth. That is how we're going to do this. Preferably straight though. That's uh, definitely better all the way down how much further did we build this thing down okay there's a little bit further to go okay one more row and then we're gonna come straight up one tile further over until we hit this area right here as soon as we hit this here we're gonna come over to here switch over to a radiant liquid pipe and once again we're gonna grab it whatever has the highest thermal conductivity right now looks like that is either copper or gold we have a hell of a lot of gold so we're gonna go with gold all the way over to here before we swap back over to our insulated pipe and come into right there and this here is going to be our cooling loop pretty standard and straightforward so we're gonna give this contract here as well so the dupes have now more than enough to do there is a hell of a lot of piping going on Speaking of slime lung, right here we have our storage bins with the germs in it. They are completely pointless. They are so far away right now from the chlorine, they don't do anything as a matter of fact. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab them and we're going to plop them right here, just like that. Also, the deodorizer can go and let's see, we'll probably need two of them. One roughly right there and maybe one right around here should be sufficient. Yeah. And we're also going to grab the airflow tile, plop it right there. And then, of course, we will need a tiny little bit of power as well. And we're just going to come straight along with a piece of ladder in the middle so everything can be properly reached. That should help out. And then we're going to plop our slime into here because that's where our chlorine currently is. Just as simple as that. Up here on the top is Krivak right now and he is digging into the first polluted water reservoir and we will see how it comes over and we're going to let him dig it one tile higher so it goes a little bit faster. Let's speed it up. Come on water and it's plopping down all the way to here and then down to there. That's exactly what that should look like. That's what we were looking for and we've got it. That's great. All our construction is coming along. I already put in the airflow tiles left and right and a bottle emptier. We are ready to go here. Large power transformers for later as well. We are are almost done few more pieces of pipe and as a matter of fact this bottle empty here we can already set it to salt water enable auto bottle and a number nine priority that's how we're gonna do it and then we're gonna start with salt water this time because we have it so close by it's right there much easier than anything else that we have available so that's what we're gonna use it makes absolutely no difference for what is in here first salt water and then of course normal water on top 
up here on the top everything is now being drained out there's basically nothing left just a tiny little bit right here that we have to take care of one way or another but other than that we are looking good and now it's just a matter of digging over and then down and that is exactly what i'm laying the foundation for right here right now that is going to be simple and i'm not going to bother you with it anymore it's literally this simple we are just going from the top down as we always do it is a straightforward digging command and nothing else than that and all of our slime along goes all the way to the bottom well, actually, speaking of that, I haven't even checked on that, have I? No, it is all built. It has probably been built for a while. So let's copy those settings here over. These here will be set to a number nine to make sure they stay fed. This one here actually has nothing in it, as we can see. So what we need to do with these here, we're going to set them to a level five priority or whatever. Anything that is lower than nine will do. So the dupes will come by and transfer all the stuff down to the bottom. And everything new that's coming in will be put into here until that is all full. And I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. So we will won't have an issue with it. That is a done deal from here on out. Right here, our next research is completed and we have the virtual planetarium and it fits in here like a glove. So we're going to plop it right there and we're going to build it another few tiles over so we are ready to roll. And of course, a little bit of power will be required as well. But what is all this here though? I'm not a big fan of how this power here is laid out. Not another one of those, another one of these here. Please come down with the power. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to come straight down here. That's probably a smarter way to build this here instead of coming all the way around. Yeah, let's do that. Luma, why are you sleeping right here? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Did you not even make it too bad? Did I not give you enough downtime? Well, that may be, but it's fine. Let's keep on working, guys. And we're just going to ignore Luma. He just does whatever he wants. It's fine. Next on our list is in refinement. We need to build metal refineries and metal refineries are preferably built out of igneous rock. That usually works pretty good. And let's see, we're going to leave one, two, three spaces. Yep, just like this. And then every other one, we build one of those here. Four total should be more than enough for anything we will ever do. Better too many than not enough. That is usually my mantra. And we're going to stick with that today as well. So let's see in plumbing, what we need to do is exactly this here. We're going to come straight up. Then we're going to switch over to a radiant liquid pipe made out of gold. That's the best we have right now. So that's what we're going to use. Come all the way over back and then on the bottom with an insulated pipe back in just like this here. And then we're going to switch over like this and like that. And this is what I'm going to put into every single one of those things. So let's do that. And here we have it. Just as simple as that. Everything is here. All this here needs to get built. And then we can happily close this here off whenever we are ready. One last thing though, we also need power in there for our thermal aqua tuna. Can't forget about that or the thermal aqua tuna is not going to do anything, which is of course suboptimal as you can imagine. So we're going to come straight up to here and over there and into here. That should be it. Pretty simple and straightforward as usual. Right over here in this area, we have now about 107 kilograms of salt water in here, which is more than enough. So we can switch it from salt water to water so we can actually get the second tile full. We can see we have a nicer layer of salt water in here. That's what we want. And here on the bottom, I'm putting in liquid pipe ridges so we can actually then fill up all of our metal refineries with crude oil as soon as the pipe on the right is finished as well. That is the plan. And that's what's next on the agenda. Over here on this side, we are now officially finished. So there are only a couple things missing. First of all, of course, I want to get rid of this piece right here. As soon as that is gone, we're going to tear out this ladder, going to get rid of this piece right here and close it off completely. And then we are going to fill up our loop. And our loop is thankfully very nearby. We're going to fill it up with polluted water. So all we have to do is come up here, connect it in and then snip this here off so we give this line here no priority because there's nothing else so it's going to be the only line but that is exactly what we want we're going to fill it to the brim and then we snip it off and what do my eyes spot down here our oil is here look at this so as soon as the oil reaches the top here at the beginning of the next cycle we will also get that done and fill up all of our oil refineries the oil refineries i hooked up to our heavy watt wire just like this here so they are properly powered no more problems from that perspective either so we are now golden and here we are so let's take a look first of all we need to connect this here in that is the first step that we will always need and as soon as that is done we will fill this one here up and i'm just gonna do it manually yes i could build a little bit of automation but not but is it really worth it for that tiny little bit of work probably not because all we need is a total of 3200 kilograms worth of our oil here because one of those metal refineries holds a total of 800 kilograms times four and that will be done so that is next on the agenda and we can see that also our water is already here very good our loop is filling 
and our oil is flowing we are at 750 760 kilograms and let's see here right here over here we're gonna snip it off that is perfect we're gonna have 10 kilograms too much but that is not gonna kill us because it's gonna stay in that input area right here so we're gonna grab our snipping tool As a matter of fact let's let it go one more and let's snip it off just like this and we are golden and we can move on to the next one just like this here one by one by one we're gonna make our way through just like this and we can see 800 kilograms no problem at all just as simple as that yes a tiny little bit of manual work but it's fine it'll be done in no time and here we have it right now almost exactly one cycle is how long it took which is a little bit longer than expected but with our extended speed it is really in real time not that bad so when we take a look here in our metal refineries they all have 800 kilograms let's make sure 800 800 800 and 800 that's great and here comes eric and what is eric doing yes i snipped it off right here because i don't know yet where i'm gonna go with it later and all i'm going to do is i'm gonna empty out this entire pipe here and then i'm gonna deconstruct it it's gonna be literally the simple the dupes will eventually pick that stuff up and drop it back down where it came from yes it's a little bit of labor but it's not the end of the world it's really not that much but we also have our loop here done so we need to come down here and we need to snip this here off and connect this here back in there we go that's what that should look like and as soon as that is done we can just go ahead and deconstruct all of this here because we won't need it anymore and now our loop is nice and consistent no problems whatsoever and last but not least our liquid pipe thermal sensor right here i have set it to above 36 degrees and you're probably wondering why that high well there's a good reason for it down here on the bottom when we take a look at our thermal reads they need a body temperature of 22 to 37 degrees. We are cooling down the water by 14 degrees every time when our thermo aqua tuna turns on. Therefore, 36 minus 14 makes 22. So we are on the very bottom edge of our body temperature for our thermal reads. And that's what we want. Because for right now, we're going to feed them all the polluted water on the left side of the map. Simple as that. Meanwhile, over here, this entire area here is dug out and Luma just puts in this one tile that was not there the entire time. So our dupes cannot escape with their Atmos suits. I had to be very careful with that in every single way. And down here, I put it on another floor so I can plant a couple more buddy buds because we had some slime lung. But that problem should be. Yeah, it's more than soft by now. <laughs> yeah, I put buddy buds all over the place. We can see it. There was slime lung right here on this clay right here. We can clearly see it. But that problem is now in the past. At least almost. Look at this here. We still have some over here. Yeah, that's where it has migrated. Yeah, so apparently we have a tiny little bit left. We have a tiny little bit of polluted oxygen right here. And it will live in there. But that's fine. It cannot go anywhere because we have the body bud right here. And we have the deodorizer right there. So it just can't die over there. It's not a big deal. Eventually it will solve itself. And if not, we're going to plop another body bud right here and call it a day. You know what? Might as well. Why wouldn't we? Not right there, preferably, though. Let's grab another one and put it right there. Let's take care of it once and for all. But now, last but not least, on this left side, we are going to make sure that this here is done. Everything here is deconstructed as well. Everything looks as it should look like right now. One single piece is still here, though. There we go. And now, I also transferred the Rock Crusher over. We just need to copy the settings. Let's plop those in here right away. Let's make sure everything's right. Everything that is lime or can be lime will be made to lime. Yeah, there we go. And then we need just one more thing. That is the kiln. We're going to grab us a kiln in the refinement, please. There we go. And we're just going to blop that thing right here. It's that simple. That's all we need. And then also this here can go. This hanging pot, we don't need it anymore. And then we're going to make us some carbon. And then we're going to make us steel. Lots and lots of steel. Let's see. We have 6.4 tons of iron, 520 kilograms of refined carbon. And we also have a line. I'm going to set it to 20 for each and every one of them. There we go. Yes, we are still a little bit low. We cannot make it all at once because we don't have fine carbon but our kiln will take care of that and that should now complete this project once and for all all right let's move on to the iron volcano the iron volcano is of course right here so let's get digging into that general direction not five high we are not going to be able to do that but four high for sure all the way to right there and then we keep on going all the way to i don't know somewhere right there should be fine only this one tile here has to stay as always a second from the left right here and then two up this tile as long as this tile exists we will never have a problem even if this thing is currently not dormant it will not erupt and i don't know if it is dormant i just hope it is but we will see what we get as soon as we are in there so let's get this here dug out and then let's get start building on taming this thing here 
For taming our iron vault candidates, of course, one thing I cannot forget. Yeah, we need this here, the conveyor rail thermal sensor. Without that, we can't do anything. And we need 30 data analysis research. So let's take a look. How many data banks do we have? If we take a peek here, we have 31. That should work out exactly to the point where we can research it and we will have maybe one left over. I believe we need one data bank per one research point, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's what I'm hoping. Because if we are too low, we will have a problem. We really, really really need that sensor so i hope it works out in our favor okay our iron volcano is right here we have dug it all out and we can see it is not dormant well that is a problem but not a very big one so we will take care of it but first of all let's get building and uh yeah i should probably cancel this for right now so we can actually see what we're doing it wouldn't that be better yeah i think so so to the left we need one two three four five and six we need six spaces right here and then a wall. And on the right, we need one, two, and then a wall. It's going to be this simple. Then we're going to come up all the way over to here. This is going to be the total outline of what we are going to do here. And then right above that. And I'm just going to plop it in. I will have to deconstruct or better to say cancel a couple things here in power. We will need steam turbines and the steam turbines. Pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to plop one right here and we're going to plop one right there. And that should work already as it is. Yeah, that should be everything that we will ever need, as a matter of fact. Then on the left side here, we will need a liquid reservoir. Might as well plop that one right beside here. There we go. And then insulated tiles around here and around there. And then all the way down to here. And as told you about it, we need to cancel a couple things right here, right here and right here. There we go. All of this here needs to be cancelled. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a liquid lock right here later. So I just guesstimated I put in a row of tiles so our dupes walk a little bit faster. That's all what this here is about. Probably have to deconstruct a couple of them. Came a little bit too far over to the right, but that is okay. But what we need temporarily to actually get started with building is we need to get up here. We need to get up here and we need to get over to there. And we need to give a dig command that comes all the way to right here, but not further than that. Yes, that's what we need. That's going to be important. And then right here, we may actually go ahead and put a ladder down here as well, because right here on the bottom, we will eventually have to come over anyway. So we might as well give the command right now to get it all done. So we need to go above and below our iron volcano. And first of all, all this here needs to get built before we can do literally anything else. So let's get that done. And as soon as all this is here, then we keep on going. And right here, the dupes are putting on the last finishing touches. We are almost done. Yes, they could not dig this here out because I killed one too many tiles up here on the top. We need two right here, but only one right there. So let's get that fixed so they can actually dig this here out, even though we don't need it, but it's fine. Okay, so let's pause the game. We will need to build a liquid lock right away, basically. So how we are going to do this? I think the easiest way to get this done is to just start right here and then come back up and then come right back down and right back up. Something just like this here. It should literally be this simple. Eventually, we are going to put in a block right here and we are going to get rid of one more right there. And this here is going to be our entrance. Then right here, we're going to come over all the way to right there and then right here two down and right here two down. And in the middle, this tile here has to go. Everything else that is here, these here need to be dug out and these two here need to be deconstructed so we can actually get through. And on the bottom right here, these three and uh, these three have to go so we can also walk through here again. Yeah, that should be it, I believe. Is there anything else missing? Yes, piece of ladder here, piece of ladder there and piece of ladder right here as well. That should be it now, right? One more thing. We need a bottle empty. Might as well plop that one in as well. OK, but that is it. I promise that is all we need. Let's go. So right down here on the bottom, we made a hell of a lot of progress. You can see that our liquid lock is in. It is perfectly fine. And I replaced the bottle empty right here with an insulated liquid pipe because right here on the left, we have crude oil. It's right there. And that is exactly what needs to go in here. Much faster and much simpler than the bottle emptier. So that's what we're going to use. I also put in an atmosuit checkpoint with two atmosuits. Probably should put in a third one to be quite honest. But for right now, it should be okay. Hooked it up to power just here on the left. And of course, the oxygen is coming straight right here from our spawn. All right. So far, we are looking very decent. Not that much left, as a matter of fact. So when we take a look into utilities, we're going to grab a thermo aqua tuna built out of steel. That is highly important. And we're going to build it in the second tile from the left wall just like this that's perfectly fine and in plumbing 
we need a liquid pipe thermal sensor made out of gold that is also perfectly fine and plop it right beside it then in utilities nope no of course not in utilities in automation we're going to grab us an automation wire and hook it up as well and then of course in plumbing we're going to grab us an insulated liquid pipe we're going to come all the way through our sensor from our liquid reservoir into the input going to come down and over like this and then with the liquid bridge just like that it's literally this simple and then we might as well build it over here and down to here and that's where it's going to stop at least for right now that is the general idea that's what needs to be built next and how is our research looking by the way okay so Chemster is hard at work uh, but he still has a little bit to do so before we have this here we don't even have to start with the conveyor belts so let's wait for that and then let's go from there Right down here, we can finally keep on building. And all I've done so far is waiting for the research to be completed is to put in the heavy watt wire going all the way to the other side of the base. But take a look what heavy watt wire does. Not in the germ overlay, but in the decor overlay. My God. Yeah, it's not very beautiful, is it? But we can do something about it. I just put in a bunch of these here. So somebody has something to do. Who is it? I think it's Chromulin Green. Yeah, you, I hope you have fun decorating because that is what you're going to do for the foreseeable future. But that is fine. We're going to keep on building over here and this little bit of decor is certainly not going to deter us. So in shipping, we need a conveyor loader and we need to make it out of steel. Oh, and look at our steel. We are up to 3.8 tons now. Now that is something that we can work with. We're going to plop it right here. Auto sweeper, also made out of steel. Plop it right above, right there. And then we need a conveyor shot off, also made out of steel. And this one goes right here, just like this. That is the first few things that we need. Also, now, of course, our conveyor rail thermal sensor, the most important thing, goes right beside it, right here. Highly, highly important. Not out of lead, though, because you are going to melt to the ground. So we are going to build you out of something better. Gold should be sufficient. We're probably going to go steel anyway because it's so close to the molten iron. So we're going to plop that in here as well. So these are the first pieces we need and then we can build our loop. We can also already build our conveyor bridge. Our conveyor bridge lives down here. And then we need another conveyor shut off right down here on the bottom. That one doesn't have to be out of steel. But you know what? Just to be safe, we're going to do it. And then the conveyor rail thermal sensor also right beside it. These are literally all the pieces of building that we need. Everything else is going to be pure conveyor rail, either made out of gold, amalgam or steel. That depends on the position. And you know what? Why don't we pause the game real quick and put it all in and then call it. So here we're going to come out all with gold all the way to right around here. Then we're going to switch over to steel. Then with steel, we're going to come along to right there and then back to gold all the way through over here. And then we're just going to loop it all the way through, all the way through, all the way to right here. Then we need once again steel. And with steel, we're going to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going to right there. And you know what? We have only one tile left or better to say two. Might as well make those also out of steel. Not going to make that big of a difference. Then with gold, we're going to come all the way back up right there. And then down here on the bottom, we need to go this direction. And right here, we're going to come all the way over to here, come down. And then we snake it along. All this here is gold, by the way, just in case you're wondering. And back up. That is it for this side right here. The last thing, of course, that's missing is we need an output and the output is going to come along here all the way back up, all the way back over. And how do we get back there? That's a good question. We could probably just go through the bottom. Yeah, through the bottom of our double liquid lock right here. That's probably the smartest thing to go. Yeah, that's what we're going to do all the way through here. And then here straight up all the way to right there. Yeah, that's fine. And then all the way up and into here. There we go. That is the way to do it. And right here, of course, the bridge. So we're going to come all the way through the entire base with our cool material all the way through and then back into our infinite storage. There's only a couple things left. First of all, now that we are actually building through this tile here, somebody's going to come by and dig this up very, very soon. So going in there without an actual Atmo suit on is not a good idea anymore. And we also need to get started really badly on our double liquid lock right here. Without that, we are not looking too hot. So let's build a liquid vent right there and then let's plop in some crude oil as well and we are looking a hell of a lot better just a few more pieces are missing down here on the bottom but it's not that much we are basically done here and we have currently 61 kilograms of water in it and more and more is coming 
That is exactly what that should look like. I made one little addition here on the left with a large power transformer. Since we have the power wire right here, might as well use it and use it to power up the entire system right here. For example, or better to say, most importantly, our thermal aqua tuner. So a couple more things that we need in ventilation. We need a gas pump. We're going to plop it into here with a gas pipe coming just out of here somewhere. It doesn't matter here. Gas vent. And in F2, we're also going to come over and grab us a, another little bit of power. This here needs to be a vacuum, and that needs to happen first. And as soon as we have enough water, or better to say, as soon as this one here is empty, we're going to come over here and vacuum this area here out as well. That is what needs to happen next. But what we can build meanwhile is right here. With our insulated pipe, we are not going to build an insulated pipe, but a radiant pipe. And once again, with the best one we have, which is gold, it is what it is. Aluminum would, of course, be preferable, but sometimes you got to work with what you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way along here, something like this here, and that should already get the job done. Then insulated pipe, we're going to keep on going out of here, all the way up to right there. Then with radiant liquid pipe, back into this area all the way through to here, back to insulated pipes and back up all the way. And this here completes our loop. Simple as that. That is literally all that is needed. And we could run this loop here with crude oil. I mean, it is right here. I'm considering it, but we will see. Okay, so now we can finish it. We are almost done. One or two more minutes and we will be through. We can now fill this here up with tiles and that's exactly what we are going to do step by step, slowly but steadily. And meanwhile, I built the liquid pipe and this liquid pipe is coming all the way from up here. Yes, of course. Why wouldn't we use this one here? Just got to figure out which switches for what. The bottom one, we're going to turn it on. This pump here is now running and we should be getting in wonderful polluted water. I decided against the crude oil because crude oil is really not that good for this type of application and I don't want to make a mistake here. So rather go safe. It took a little bit longer, but that is fine. We had to clean up anyway, so I figured I might as well go for it. So let's turn up the speed and let's make sure that this water actually gets down here. Come on water. Let's fill up our loop and our liquid pipe thermal sensor is already set to negative five. So we're going to start cooling here right away. There we go. We are generating a bunch of heat. Our water is already at 77 degrees. Look at this. And we can keep on building. There we go. So let's get that done. And then we will check on in again how it works out for us. And finally, here we have it at long last. So let's see if the entire system works. First of all, our conveyor rail thermal sensor right here should be set to, let's say, uh, let's take a look at the logic here. When we give out a green signal, then we go around. So if it is above 150 degrees Celsius, then we keep going around until we are below 150 degrees. And the bottom one works, of course, the exact same. And let's say, I don't care, 30 degrees, whatever. 30 degrees should be fine. And let's see if it works here in conveyor loader. I'm going to say everything because it literally doesn't matter. Anything that our artist people can grab that is in here, which should eventually be only iron, obviously. Then we will go straight into our infinite storage. So let's see if this here works. The temperature of our iron right here is currently, what is it? 600 degrees. And of course, our artist people can reach it. It will put everything else first in. So let's speed it up just a tiny notch until we actually reach our iron right here. And let's take a look into our conveyor overlay this one here should get spit out straight yes and that's exactly what's happening only when we get actually to the iron we will see it actually circling around and that's exactly what we want so that's going to be interesting first of all all this here needs to get out let's give it another couple seconds here and see what happens and now here we have it on the top. Everything that is not iron has now been filtered out. Isn't that great? Yeah, here on the bottom, we're looking pretty decent. Everything looks to be pretty fine. Yeah, there we go. Everything on the bottom is out. And on the top, we are still at 200 degrees, 300 degrees. And we just keep on circling around and around and around until we are below 150 degrees Celsius. Trying to dump as much heat in here as we can. Our steam is at 158 degrees and our steam turbines are working as much as they can. While our metal tiles are on the bottom at a nice chilly negative 9.2 degrees. Yeah, that is great. And we're just going to keep on circling and then spit it out nice and cold into our infinite storage. I just love this build. There's nothing else I can say about it. And here the first pieces are coming slowly but steadily. Yeah, that is great. Last but not least, I decided to get rid of this one tile here. So we have everything steamed just like this. I'm going to sweep up this one piece and we are fine. Another good reason to have this liquid lock right here, because if something goes horribly wrong for whatever reason, we can always enter if we want to and the dupes don't get hurt. 
But this is all I have for you today. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment down below. You know it. I'm always happy to hear from you. And with that, I say thank you and peace.